There are some organizational constraints that can also hinder the decision-making process. If we want to improve the quality of decisions in any particular organization, we should consider some of these factors. Performance, measurement, criteria, tools, measures, influence the way that managers evaluate their employees' performance. If the tools are missing information, then the manager is probably going to miss a part of job performance. And it could be an important part. The reward system can also play a role. Some systems, unfortunately, encourage competition and encourage people to try to get the most for themselves instead of working with one another. The formal rules, policies, procedures, and other regulations created by organizations can also influence decision making. Some companies have so much structure put in place that few people have any real decision-making power. Related to this are time constraints, deadlines, schedules, and calendars that don't allow effective decision-making. Some nonprofit organizations, for example, are managed by a group of volunteers who are only able to meet once or twice a month. Their ability to make decisions, implement decisions, and evaluate decisions is severely limited by these time constraints. The last factor to consider is historical precedence. It's important for managers to understand the context in which current decisions are being made, but also the context in which previous decisions were made. Humans have a tendency to rely on what they've already done, the decisions they've already made, instead of starting from scratch. To make good decisions, we need to understand how those historical precedents are playing a role. They could be hindering or helping the current decision-making process.